Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. Tide the Kayak Order. I am out today um, having a little bit of fun. I got some live shrimp. It's a cold front. It's like 50 degrees right now. It's pretty chilly uh, for Florida standards. My up north people, you think this is shorts and t-shirt weather. But uh, like I said, I'm gonna go out here and just try to target whatever bites today. Um, just because I have some live shrimp, the cold front is here and I know they're not gonna chase a lot of bait. So I chose specifically to come today because I wanna go underneath the dock like I have, you know, in the past because the water is warmer in there and I know that the snook and sheep's head are probably hanging out in there. So that's where I'm headed. Uh, hang with me and hopefully I catch something. Stay tuned. All right, no bites. I'm not going to play around too much today because I want to catch some fish, so I'm, I'm going to put on a live shrimp. And all I'm doing, I'm just hooking them through the tail and try to bury the, the hook as much as possible. And I'm just going to toss it and let it sit and see what happens. And it, the fish are there they're gonna get it the water's colder so i definitely have to be a little bit more patient today i want to get it as close to the pylons as possible as well because sheephead will eat shrimp Uh, first fish is a red fish. I'm gonna have to do a little bit of surgery. First fish of the day is a little red. Really blue tail on him. Little tiny juvenile. That's a good one. That's a good one too. Get in the boat. Get in the net, baby. And look, the hook popped right out. Wow. The hook popped right out. Once I got him in the net. He's not real big, but he's big enough to keep. So I want fish for dinner. So I'm gonna be a little cautious with him today. He's about 13 inches. Yep. 13 and three quarters. All right, guy. First sheep's head of the day, 13 and three quarters. He's going in the box. There's one, got another one on. Oh, that's a snapper. That's a keeper snapper at that. Barely hooked snapper.
But yeah, he's definitely 10. Eleven and a, almost eleven and a half. All right, eleven and a half in snapper, going in the box. Barely hooked. Look at that. That thing came right out. <laughs> oh my gosh. Now that's funny. That is literally the smallest snook I've ever caught. He's moving. He's moving. Oh, got another one. It's a good one. Another snapper. Another little fat snapper. I think he's gonna make it too. Let me put him on the board first while he's hooked. Oh yeah, another 11 inch snapper. This isn't what I expected to catch back here, but it's good to catch them. Second snapper, number two. of his mouth. Definitely not sticking my fingers in there. Yeah, that thing came right out. But look at this little fatty. Washing it too bad, but look at that one. Look at that one. Just measure him up real quick. I know, dude. I know. I know. and a half. That's the size we want right there. 16 and a half inch sheet. That's what we want right there. All right. Now's a good time to give a shout out to my buddy Luke over at Reel em In Bait and Tackle. It used to be Gibson Den Bait and Chat Tackle, but he is now uh, bought it. You've heard me talk about him before. 
uh, in some of my videos or in my description. He is an absolute genuine guy. Um, and he also has a YouTube channel now. It's called Luke's Florida Fishing and More. And so do me a favor, um, guys, go out and subscribe to his channel. I'm gonna make sure I leave a link in the description. Um, he's, a, he's a real nice guy. And uh, I'm, I'm happy that he owns the uh, tackle shop now. He used to work there for years, uh, went on to do something else, but came back and actually bought the shop. I'm, I'm pretty excited for him. So um, go out, subscribe to him, but also go by the bait and tackle store um, as he's improving it. Um, go support him uh, as well. He's got a lot of shrimp. That's where I bought all my shrimp from today. And he's soon to have some fiddler crabs in there, so go check him out, guys. It's another big snapper. Not big, but keeper. And that's another keeper snapper, that's for sure. Maybe that's what's what what was biting right there? Another snapper. I'll measure him for good. <laughs> Should have just put it in the freaking box. <laughs> Dang it. He's gonna be big enough to keep, but we're gonna get him in here anyway just to see. Oh yeah, I think he's gonna keep. I think he's gonna keep. Oh yeah. No more messing up. He's not that big, but But it's another sheep's head. He's gonna he's gonna keep though. He's probably about 12. Right at 12. Oh no, he's right at 13. Alright. Alright guys, sheep's head number three. One more shot. Sheep's head number three. Hey guys, I am excited always about the word. I, I love reading the word, I love studying the word. I just love the word. So today's uh, verse of the day is coming from John 15, four, and I'm reading in the English Standard Version. It says, abide in me and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit by itself unless it abides in the vine, neither can you unless you abide in me. So the reason why this one is so pivotal to me that right now is because um, I noticed that our youth, our young adults are really going through a lot right now. And so it made me reflect on me when I was younger and at times when I don't always, you know, get in my word, I'm always praying or whatever it may be. There are times that you have to be reminded that you have to draw close to Christ, that you have to abide in Him. Because if not, there's chaos, there's turmoil, just a lot going on. And so uh, my thing is, the closer you get to Christ, yes, your problems may still be there, but you'll look at them a whole lot differently. Your perspective will be different. So I am really praying for our young adults, those that are you know out of high school and you know, younger than like 35 because there's a lot going on right now. And so my prayer is that they're strengthened, that they're encouraged, that they get closer to Christ. 
And that's not just for them as young adults, those that are young in the faith as well. So draw close to Christ. He is your rock and he will sustain you in everything that you're doing. God bless you. Hope you enjoyed that verse of the day. Oh, it's a good fish. I don't know what it is yet. It's another sheep's head. Oh my gosh. Not expected over here, that's for sure. But I'll take it. Thank you, Lord. I think he's going to be right at 12. Mm, he might be a little short. Oh no, he's definitely 12. He's almost 13. <laughs> I'll take it. get the fish gripper all right another sheep's head guys not real big today not real big today but I'm getting them I'm I'm trying He's got some barnacles in his teeth. He's got barnacles in his teeth. Barnacles in his teeth. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. I'm gonna wrap it up right there. I had to do the outro in my car because it is super windy out there. But had a good day, caught four sheep's head, two snapper that I could keep. I lost that one out of my hand, but all in all, it was a good day. Had a couple break offs, but I mean, that happens when you're out there fishing around structure. So, um, man, I just hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, do me a favor, hit that like button. And while you're there, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. And then also share my channel with others. And like I said, remember to check out Luke um, his bait and tackle shop and his uh, YouTube channel which both will be in the description of this video until next time guys remember God loves you God bless you may he keep you peace